and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So I'm going to be doing a TBR, like a January TBR style video, which is basically telling you guys the books that I would really like to read this January. I'm going to I'm I'm not going to lie, one of these books that was meant to be in this video that I was meant to film earlier on um, this month, I have already finished. So I have four books that I'm going to put in this month's TBR. Um, just because I don't want to go too overboard and I feel like four books each month is a really, really good way to start. So I'm going to start with the one book that I've already read, um, because it's actually like, it's actually the 6th of January when I'm filming this. I was going to film it on like really early on, um, but I didn't really get around to it. So Stephen King, The Outsider is one book that I really, really wanted to read this month. Um, I got this as a Christmas present and I just really really wanted to get into this book and let me tell you it was an amazing 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 book this is one of Stephen King's newer releases it came out in 2018 I'm pretty sure his newest book came out in September of 2019 and I'm very interested in getting that book as well so I'll probably have my hands on it sometime this year and it'll probably be in another TBR um this is kind of like I guess like a book project pan I should probably say that um but I am very excited again to move on to more Stephen King books um, but this was an amazing book. It started off seeming like a normal crime and then there was this massive plot twist and it became a little bit supernatural, a little bit more of a thriller. It was so good. I feel like it was so well written. His twist happened just at the right time. Next up is Home by Harlan Coburn. I feel like that's how you say her name. This is one that I've already started reading as you can see by my little uh, bookmark. So I'm on page 160 already. I started reading this last night so I've read a chunk and a bit since um, last night. I'm almost halfway through this book already. I am actually quite invested in the story. It's a very very easy read. It's quite light as well. It's not that hard to read so I definitely like suggest this to someone who's trying to get into the crime genre. This one is basically about how two boys went missing 10 years ago and and you think that you see them and he's a young man and he's in trouble but how do you, how can you be sure that it's really him you thought your search for the truth was over but it's only just begun and basically i'm to the point where one of the boys has been found but he is yet to speak and the other boy that went missing with him the person who rescued this guy had hold of him so it's so devastating because two families lost their sons that day um one son from each family and it's just devastating because one family has their son and the other person doesn't and the son and the boy who has been saved won't say a word. I am actually thoroughly enjoying this so I'm very excited. Next is Anne Cleves' The Glass Room. Again, another kind of crime scene type of book and this is about a DI, Vera Stanhope, who doesn't make friends easily but when her neighbour goes missing she goes looking for her neighbour and she finds her relatively quickly in a in a country retreat where aspiring authors gather to work on their novels but everything begins to get a little bit more complicated when a body is found and her neighbour is found holding the knife that allegedly did the killing and she work and working together with Sergeant Joe Ashworth she starts to hunt for a murderer who has turned killing into a form of art. I'm very interesting, interested in knowing what the form of art is. I have never read anything from Anne Cleves either so I am very very excited to see if I like her style of writing. I've seen quite a few of her books on the shelves recently in local bookstores. I feel like from the blurb it's either going to be something that I absolutely love and I think it's an amazing book or it's going to be something that just doesn't hit it for me, it doesn't hit the right spot, you know, like I never know until I've read the book obviously so I'm very excited to give it a read. The Prison Doctor by Dr Amanda Brown. This is in this collection just to break up a little bit so after I finish home I'm actually going to move on to The Prison Doctor and then my last book of the month will be The Glass Room by Anne Cleves. The reason for that is because this is a non-fiction book. This is, by, this is written by Dr Amanda Brown who was a prison doctor and basically it's a memoir, it's a memoir um, where she reveals the stories, the patients and the cases that have shaped a career spent spent helping those in need. Despite their crimes, she is still their doctor. It just sounds like it's gonna be really, really amazing. Um, I personally feel like it has the potential to touch on a lot of things that are still kind of quite furry in for us to talk about, for people to talk about openly enough without any judgment. So I am very, very excited to see how this is written and see if I enjoy it. It's something very different for me. I'm not someone who enjoys 
normally a non-fiction story but I am very excited to give it a go. I also really want to read Harry Potter this year because I tried reading it ages ago and I just couldn't get into it. Okay I'm gonna put in another book I think. <laughs> okay I'm gonna add one that I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna love or if I'm gonna hate and that is The Binding by Bridget Collins. The blurb doesn't really give away too much. We know that Emmett is a binder apprentice and that his job is to handcraft beautiful books that within each capture something unique and an, an extraordinary a memory and basically if you have something you want to forget or a secret to hide he can bind it and you will never have to remember the pain it caused in a vault under his mentor's workshop row upon row of books and secrets are meticulously stored and recorded then one day Emmett has an makes a an astonishing discovery one of the volumes have his name on it I'm just very interested to see how this book is and what it is actually about. I feel like the verb doesn't really give away much. I know it's on about the books, but I'm very excited to see how this actually goes and what the story is really like because not much is revealed. Basically, I have four books still to read this rotation and I've already read one. So that is gonna be it. So I have five books in my TBR. I'm very excited for all five of these. Like I said, one of them I've already read, so. Yes. But I feel like these are going to be very, very interesting books and I'm so, so excited to give them all a read. And that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and would like to see more videos from me and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye!